Corks, Red FM. 104 to 106. Uh, yeah, it was a good run up for us. We were up against it, I suppose, down to 13 men in that. Like, but uh, it was a good, like, to surely know the rustiness is surely over our system now. So it was a good run out and we're delighted to win. Uh, how was your own view of the sending offs? Uh, to be honest, I didn't even know Noel Galvin was gone until the half time. I just. I just didn't know, but I I didn't see much of Cadigan and Paul Galvin either. Do you know, to be honest, I was a bit of off the ball stuff, and the ref just sent him off, and that's it. Do you know, you just deal with it, I suppose, you just look at him later, but to be honest, I didn't see anything. Yeah, 13 against 14 for most of it, but it looked like you almost had the extra man. How did you put that down to it? Um, I suppose we have that bit of experience, I suppose, against Tyrone last year. We were down the man, and we just, everyone drops off and pushes up on the half to, you know, and we just said we've we've plenty of subs, five good subs to come on, and they all played their part as well, so we ran hard against them, John. So it was like that, that extra bit of. That depth and panel really, I suppose, that experience really. But two months out of now, I suppose, confidence high in the camp? Uh, it is, I suppose, especially after, you know, considering there are our first two big games of the year, you know, uh, we're looking forward to the remainder of our games. You know, we've, I think, three home games left, you know, we'll be able to win all of them, go back up north and take a few more points up there as well. So, you know, things are looking good, hopefully, but sure, we, we won't be coming to anything yet. Corks Red FM. 104 to 106. 106.